Epstein-Barr virus is a common herpes virus and is well known to cause glandular fever in young adolescent people. Generally, this virus we acquire early in childhood, but very small proportion of people who don't get EBV infection early and get exposed to this virus when you are young adolescent, that's when it causes a lot of problem and can lead to a very severe acute infection. We call it infectious mononucleosis or it's also called glandular fever. The exposure to EBV at a later part of your life, particularly as a young adolescent, when you have a higher chance of getting infectious mononucleosis, also increases your risk of getting MS. So that is now pretty much accepted worldwide that EBV is one of the very critical factors in getting MS. We have developed a, a new vaccine formulation for EBV. There has been a number of previous attempts primarily designed to induce antibodies to this virus. What we have done is we have designed a, what we call another arm of the immune system which is called T-cells and combined with that antibody and this new formulation will induce both, both the antibody and the T-cell immune response. It is now very much well established that to give a long-term protection against EBV associated diseases, you don't only just need antibodies but also need the T-cell immunity and we have cracked that sort of a, like a holy grail a sort of thing. The way this vaccine has been designed is to actually prevent MS. So what we are trying to do is we mount an immune response which can actually prevent those EBV infected B cells in, in the sort of an early stage of their infection and they don't go and cause any secondary pathogenesis, particularly when these B cells go into the brain of the person and causes all the inflammation. We're trying to stop that happening. What we have done is we have come up with a platform technology which can just be applied to not just to EBV but to other viruses as well that can actually generate T cell immunity effectively and sustain T cell immunity. And that has been hugely, you know, big step forward. It has been very satisfying because both the fields are uh, in the CME field and EBV field. There is no vaccine ab available from last 60 years. So now we are kind of uh, uh, getting close to the uh, final stages of development. Very pleased. We already have an industry partner which are co-funding this program and we are talking to other potential industry partners as well which will be very important because to be honest and no funding agency any small or large uh, which is publicly funded organization can fund these large clinical trials. So we do need industry support on that and we've been very fortunate to get early support from industry for, on this program. Probably we were aiming uh, with our collaborators to be in the clinic maybe in 2024 or 2025.